Hello everyone, my name is Zach, and if you're new here, feel free to subscribe. I do a lot of reviews and reactions, but here is my review for Valerian and the City of a Thousand Planets. Let's get into this film. So, Luc Besson directs and writes this, and if you don't know who Luc Besson is, he's the guy who's done Fifth Element, Lucy, ugh, not a big fan of that movie, and he's also done Leon the Professional. I have not seen, so I it's kind of 50-50 for me. I really like the Fifth Element, I'm not a big fan of Lucy. But with Valerian, he makes his big triumphant return with something that he's been wanting to make for a long time. Valerian is based off a graphic novel as well, so that's out there too. I think the biggest thing for Valerian that I went into was that the visuals look absolutely a masterpiece and just are gr so visually appealing that I think my big concern was is this just is this just going to be a visually appealing movie with no substance, or how is this film going to turn out to be? So you have to say that I enjoyed Valerian and the City of a Thousand Planets a lot. And that has to do with not even just the visuals. Yes, the visuals are amazing, and I'll get gushing over that in a second. But I actually like the story that the two characters went on. Even though there is some problems that I have with some of the dialogue in the film, it's not that it takes away, but I think the journey and the pacing is so sure fast, and the pacing is so fast-paced action all the time it's very good to see that and it keeps you on the edge of your seat you're really visually appealed with all these things and the creativity that Luc Besson puts in here with all the different alien creatures and all the different dimensions and planets and it's just very unique to see because it, it seems like he put a lot of care into the creativity into the script because there's certain things in here that I don't really want to get into or even spoil and when you see these things happening you're like that's a really unique idea I've never seen that before and that's why I have to say this film is very unique and you've never seen Seen anything like this before i can assure you that this on really masterfully created a new world for us to play around in and that's probably the best thing about valerian and this is the thing about valerian is that like i said earlier the characters in here it we have dane dehan who plays valerian and then cara delavine who plays lauren i gotta say this Han, i'm a huge fan of i really like a lot of his performances even though even in movies that aren't necessarily great he still does a great job cure for wellness is a big factor of that and then he also was fantastic in chronicles so seeing him in this it was cool to see a different side of him and yes he has that same grumbling emo voice that he does but i actually like his performance in here but the big 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 pro i have to put out there is cara delavine i am not a fan of hers at all suicide squad uh and just she was horrible in that and paper town she was not good in it as well i have to say with her getting not the best of dialogue for the movie she does a really good job in here and she has some comedic timing in here and she's a sarcastic little asshole that's really just intriguing to watch and i like her performance in here because it's just very fun and there's none of well this None of that in here, and she does a really great job with that, and she has a lot of good dynamics with some of the alien creatures in here, and like I said, going back to the alien creatures, all creative, all amazing to see, just there's some puppetry in there, some CGI, some makeup, and it all blended so well together, it reminded me of seeing one of the original Star Wars films, and it even reminded me of seeing the fifth element for the first time, because that's how the fifth element was to me, it was bonkers, it was crazy, but it was this awesome sci-fi piece that really just, it brought back home, and I think this will be probably the fifth element of this generation. Generation. Let me tell you this, some of the action scenes in here are so crisp and so clean, they're shot wonderfully. Oh, let me talk about my cons. Yes, I've been saying a little bit throughout this review about the dialogue. The dialogue is pretty bad in here. I'll say this, the aliens, when the aliens are talking their different languages and you're understanding different things going on with the aliens, the dialogue moments actually aren't as bad. They're actually pretty intriguing. I think that's where a lot of the creativity went into the script was with the aliens and the universe and the worlds and the different elements that go around the Valerian. But when it comes down to Valerian and Lauren and you just, you have that whole dynamic and any pretty much human characters in here are pretty badly dialogue. And I don't mean it as that like it's horrible, but it's very much like a lot of the dialogue has a centric wound. Oh, his name's Jack. He likes this. He likes that. He used to do this. Oh, he, he is the commander. He is commander number five. You have to look out for him. Blah, blah, blah. And it's very just bland. And it's not intriguing. It's something you can wrap yourself around. But thanks to the visuals and the world that surrounds you and the creativity, it keeps you hooked into the movie itself. Hug, I mean, it can only you can only forgive it so much. It's not horrible. It's not the worst in the world. It's just bland. And I kind of was wanting more from a sci-fi epic movie that we're getting here. You'd expect more from it. 
What can I say? I had a fun time with Valerian. I saw it in 3D. 3D was actually pretty good. This is a movie that if you have any interest in it, you should go and see First Day. You should go out and see it. You should enjoy the film. If you're a sci-fi nut, you'll like the film. If you love Fifth Element, you're going to love this film. I really enjoyed this film. I don't know how it'll hold up coming back just watching it at home instead of on the big screen. It might not hold up as well, but I think Valerian was a really fun time at the movies. It's very surprising, to be honest. I thought it was not going to be good. The trailers did interest me, but it never... It seemed like one of those movies that was just going to disappoint me. It actually surprised me in quite a few ways. So with all that said, I'm going to give Valerian a B. <laughs> most important thing, guys, is what is your thoughts on Valerian? Are you excited for Valerian? Are you disappointed in Valerian? Did you love Valerian? Please comment down below and let me know, and we can all talk about Valerian in the city of a thousand planets. For this weekend, lots of good movies. You got Dunkirk and Valerian. If you're a sci-fi nut, go see that. If you're a film nut, you got Nolan's film, and if you like both... Perfect mash together for you guys. Next week, you'll be getting my Atomic Blonde review. You'll also be getting some reactions to some trailers that drop at Comic-Con. And, of course, you will be getting a Nolan ranking. I'm Yes, I'm going to rank every single one of Nolan's films. Can't wait to do that, guys. But thank you guys so much for watching. Enjoy the rest of your guys' day.